Hang tight, friends, because episode 105 is coming your way of Let's Play Baldur's Gate. We got some Ankeg armor. Rock on. The only problem is it's really kind of a bonus that we could have had double if Khalid had stuck around, because I think he's the one with the Ankeg armor that we had previously. So, unfortunately, we won't be able to double our... our awesomeness of having that many why can't you use this what is wrong with you that makes me angry but uh yeah so here we go we're gonna have to redistribute everyone's equipment this is probably <laughs> especially in boulders gate 2 this is probably the biggest reason that i hate dying is not really because i have to resurrect them not really because it's, uh, it, like, takes away from their experience points. No, it's just a downright pain to re-equip everyone with all their garbage. Gotta sift through everyone's, e everyone's equipment. I mean, it works better later if you have a bag of holding, because, you know, especially if you have an empty bag of holding, you just cram all of ev each individual character's stuff in, in it. But without one... It's just, uh, and, and without the inventory space to just have one person pick it up. Because if one person can just pick up the entire inventory, it's not so bad. But this is, this is tedious. It's not, uh, just takes forever. Gotta figure out which potions they had equipped. Can Chesney identify this? Wand of Fear, we already knew that. Inadequate intelligence! Can anyone else use this? No. Huh. Well, whatever. No, cancel. Where was that potion up there? Of fiery breath of doom. I'm gonna give these healing potions back to these people, so hopefully they don't die again next time. So let's split this one up. Yeah, I think that's good enough for now. We need to heal anyway. Oh, another thing. Do you have to reset their spells? Oh, no, you don't. That's good. Yes. That would just be silly. Alright. Cross over the bridge where we met Edwin. Edwin is actually kind of funny, I'll admit. He's not... He's not as bad as, as I might have made him seem earlier when we passed him by. He's just super chaotic evil and really manipulative kind of rubs me the wrong way. But he's actually really funny. Edwin do this, Edwin do that. Somebody fetch this jerk a banana. Yeah, that's actually a quote from him from, I think, the second one. I get them mixed up since I really don't use them in this one. A lot of my friends tend to, though. It's probably because a lot of my friends don't play as wizards. In fact, I don't think really any of them play as wizards. That's alright. should see us when we get together and play d and It's actually a lot of fun. We have a wide variety of casts. We don't have a lot of repeated classes. I think we have two rogues. That's about it. But even then, we got one rogue, Darkwind. Oh, Darkwind, if you're watching this, you are not a rogue. You are a fighter. You are a rogue pretending to be... Or you are a fighter pretending to be a rogue. No, sorry. I'm going to rest here. We're going to rest again. And no, we're not gonna rest again. Okay, yeah, we're good. We just might want to go and buy some more arrows. Man, it is just such a setback when people die. It's the biggest reason you restart. It's not really like you know. It's not really like you don't have the means to come back and resurrect them and all that. It's just like, why would I want to come all the way out here? Hey, does this guy? This guy sells. Yeah, large shield plus one. Give me some of that, man. That is what I'm talking about. Can Faldorn equip any, like, cool shields? No. Of course not. Faldorn, sometimes I wonder if anyone can fail at being a druid more than you. Alright. Buy a few arrows this time. We're not going to overkill like we did last time. Uh, Eldoth, of the course, we're going to give him more arrows than not, because he just fights with them. But, uh, Koran, not so much. What is that, another 
potion of fiery death. I love those things. I also love it because I think you can drink them. Can you not drink them? Yeah, you can drink these things. I remember the first time I did that. Explode. It's kind of, uh... It's kind of, um, against living, drinking those things. Alright. We may not be exactly organized in our equipment, but we have it all here now. We're gonna go back up to that farm and cause some damage. And at least Yezlik does have some better AC now. A lot better AC. You know, we could we could get some darts for Safana. Yeah, we really should, but I think we're just gonna hold off on it. Don't ask me why, it doesn't make sense. I'm just too lazy to go back to the shop. Alright. So all the way back up. Traveled across the entire sword coast. Just for some ankeg armor. And to get our friends back. We could have tried to press on to Baldur's Gate. There's quite a few temples there, but just too much happens to not have your full party. Alright, let's try this again. Let's not get eaten. We need more hit points. 40 and 63. Yezlik, you're taking point. Originally, uh, Koran was going to take point because he had the better AC, but now that we have uh, Yezlik with the shield plus one and the Ankheg plate, he's going to be our point man because uh, with those Ankhegs, you just, uh, as I mean, you could, do, you could use some spells and, to crank up your AC a little bit. I'm sure we could figure something out, but uh, on the fly... You just want eight hit points to tank them. Because the ank eggs, as you can see, I mean, they, it's not like you require a plus one weapon to kill them. It's not like they are they have a huge amount of hit points. You just need to be able to not die from their initial attack. So, But anyway, we're going to get a quick save real quick. Okay, so we checked the time. We got about two and a half more minutes here. Good two and a half more minutes. Before YouTube shuts me down for illegal activity. No, I'm just kidding. Whoa. Alright, there's one. Oh good, there's there's probably only one now. No, there's two. Of course there's two. And they're still shooting at Koran! Nah, that was just the initial shot. I think we're good now. Koran is actually using his bow. We want him to go up and fight Melee. Yeah, see, and now they're not giving us any trouble at all, which is strange. It's just like he sat there and let us kill him. I don't really understand it, but okay. Works for us, I guess. Yeah, I could have I could have searched those other Ankeg shells for their loot, couldn't I have? Oh well, doesn't really matter. There's actually a Huntress out here. We want to find her. She puts us on kind of a funny quest. Actually, a couple people will put you on quests out here. Don't be fooled by the homey look of the place. May not be as homey as you think. Homely. Homely! Homey! What am I? Like, homey? Gosh. Please, won't no one help me? Anyone? I've nowhere else to be turning. Well, welcome friends to pretty much the exact same storyline as Cloakwood, that crazy guy who tried to kill all the spiders in Cloakwood. Except now, uh, it was a crazy guy who went out and tried to kill all the ank eggs. You know, he might not have even tried to kill them, I didn't really read it. He might have just been out there and they killed him, I don't know. Who cares? He basically just wants you to go look for his, uh, his son. It's free EXP and a good excuse to kill these things. DIE ALREADY! You fiendish monster! It's near death, come on! Somebody land a hit. There we go. Alright, so... When we come back, we'll be looking for that dude's son and probably be wandering around in an ankhag lair. So, we'll see you then, friends.